بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على عبده ورسوله الأمين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته When we look into Islam as a whole we find that one of the most important things in Islam is the good character The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in the authentic hadith, I have been merely sent to excel and perfect the good character. So Islam is based on a lot that deals with good character. And those who have bad character are not considered to be good Muslims. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us that it is not among us he is not from us he who does not have mercy on our youngsters on our children and who ha- does not respect the elderly if you look at the life of the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam you would find that he used to love the children and have mercy over them his granddaughter Umama, may Allah be pleased with her. He used to carry her when she was a child. And I know that a lot of you don't know that the Prophet had a granddaughter by the name of Umama. Her mother was Zainab and her father was Abu Asim al Rabi'ah. He used to carry her during prayer. And whenever he bowed or prostrated, he used to put her on the ground. And when he stood up, he used to carry her once again. The Prophet also والسلام, as in one hadith once prostrated and he prolonged his prostration until the companions thought that he might have passed away. So one of them raised his head and saw the Prophet والسلام, with one of his grandsons al Hassan or al Hussein, mounting him and they were children. So the man went back to his prayer until the Prophet ﷺ concluded the prayer. And when they spoke to him about this, he said, I was in the prostration uh, position and my grandson mounted me as I usually play with him. And that is why I did not want to bother him by not letting him continue doing what he uh, does. The Prophet cared a lot for the children, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, to the extent that once he was leading the prayer and he heard the child cry. uh, uh, cry. So he finished his prayer in a very quick manner and then addressed the companions by saying that, I heard the child cry and I was afraid for his mother's heart. I knew that she was worried for him, so I had to finish the prayer in a quick and fast motion. Compare this to what we would do in the masjid if a child or two start to cry while we were praying. You would find a lot of those grumpy elders shouting, why do you bring your children? Why do you do that? The Prophet didn't do anything like this, it was an incident and it's gone. A child is a child. If he does not cry, if he doesn't shout, he's not a, sh- a child. Furthermore, the Prophet ﷺ used to love his children. Whenever he saw and whenever he sees Al Hassan or Al Hussein, he would kiss them. And one tribe leader, tribal leader, was there, and he saw the Prophet ﷺ kissing his grandchild. So he said, "O Prophet of Allah." You do this, I have 10 of my offspring. I have 10 sons. I've never kissed any one of them. What was the reply of the Prophet? He said, whoever does not have mercy, Allah would not have mercy on him. He used to, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, visit Anas ibn Malik. Uh, May Allah be pleased with him. And Anas had a younger brother. And the Prophet would nickname this young brother by giving him a nickname and saying, Aba Umair, the father of Umair. And this child was about four or five years old. He had a small bird that he kept in a cage and the bird died. So the boy was upset 
So the Prophet used to play with him and say, Aba Umair, Mada Fa'al al Nughair? What did the small uh, bird do? And the Prophet would joke with, with this young boy in this young child. So this is one of the Islamic character that we should all have. That is, having mercy over children, caring for them, adhering to their needs, and giving them love and compassion. As for the second part of the hadith, which is respecting the elders and giving them their due respect, this probably would take more time than what the program would allow us to.